<laughs> All right, I'm not quite as uh, quick on my feet as a skipper, so I have some prepared remarks. But before I start those, uh, the Chiefs Mess would like to present a gift to Skipper Goalie. Also, the wardroom would like to present a gift to Skipper Goldie. Got one more. Okay, first, I want to say thank you, Beth. I've learned a tremendous amount from you, and I enjoyed every moment serving alongside you. Kim and I are going to miss you, and best of luck in the War College. I know you, I'm sorry, at the uh, Academy. Thank you, Chief. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to do awesome. Uh, Commodore, thank you for coming down and, and allowing us to do a, a very personal uh, change of command. Uh, I think we all appreciate that. It was great seeing you again. It always is. And uh, great flying with you again. You still got it, guys. Uh, if my wife and children were here, I would tell them thank you for their support. It's their sacrifices that have allowed me to enjoy a career in the Navy, and in my opinion, they're the true warriors. I also want to say thank you to all of your families. Just like mine, their patience, flexibility, and love allow us to do, do our mission and serve our country. To the world famous Golden Eagles, this is our squadron, and I'm honored and humbled to have the opportunity to lead this great team of professionals. We battle through a remarkable home cycle, as mentioned, but that hard work and dedication is paying dividends with our early successes here on deployment and in Fourth Fleet. We're nowhere close to the finish line, so I'm asking you guys to stay the course, work hard every day, prepare for the challenges, and avoid distractions. Remember, as this is VP9's last P3 deployment, decades of Golden Eagles are counting on us to finish strong. So if everybody out there made a bet, here it is. Keep stroking it. Okay. All orders, notices, and instructions remain in effect. Thank you guys for coming. One last uh, round of applause for Skipper Goli. Great job.